that. But we have a game for you right now. We are still following Invasion Gigabyte's journey through Rampage. Um, they're going against Ultra Remix, uh, to URX, relatively unknown, we don't know much about them. Do you know anything about URX, Myra? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm, so... Yeah, I'm what? here and we're in picking and draw, picking and banning place. Yeah, yeah but, but look, look at this, Next Assassin getting picked again, except on the URX side here. Uh, yeah, twist it. Yeah. Yeah. Gigabyte still going for the same lineup. Uh, still Again, get life stealer. Life stealer. Um, life, did they go get that life stealer? There's a lot of things they can do as well. That shadow demon is finally available, but I think we want to go for that Rubik first. Maybe get a mid laner. Queen of Pain would be very nice to have in the middle. And nope, yeah, they go straight out for the Rubik instead. Um, they just want to get that. They want to get that tri lane set up really, really quickly. And. We will most likely see the Lina, the third pick for Gigabyte here. Ultra Remix has a Nyx. They can choose to open up. Hmm. Yeah, you can see they already ban up Magnus and also Batrider. Looking at those bans, they know because Batrider have the flexibility skills and they don't want it. So there's a door open for another support. So it is too early. And you can see the hero using Lusher can be creative. You can either jungle or stay in lane, being babysit by Ruby, I guess. Um, that, that is most likely what we will see out of here. The very aggressive tri lane. It worked perfectly last game for the Gigabyte, so I'm yeah. sure it'll work now as well. Uh, second, you already get the yeah, sec second and third game. Um, I mean, second and third pick that we will see here from Ultra Remix. Might want to see some sort of mid laner right now. Uh, come out as well as this, and we will see Dark Sea here before it gets banned. A nice choice to get for the off lane. So I, I quite admire this. We, we will be seeing the Dark Sea in play again. Well, that's a very actually actually a very nice pickup for them. But um, still think they want still think they want to grab a mid laner or support. At, oh, they got one of the Charlie and Beastmaster will probably be joining the Charlie lane here. Um, I quite like this vacuum and the Primal Roar liner pretty well. Yeah, this is good. This yeah. is good. This is good. Um, and our third pick over here, we might obviously just see the Lina come out here, uh, unless they want to forego this to try and get a proper mid laner here. Waiting for that choice, because they could get that Queen of Pain as a mid laner, or they could go straight and complete the tri lane right now Ten seconds with the Lina. Uh, I wonder. Five seconds so, uh, where do you know URX from, Myra, again? Oh, what? Where do you know this team from, URX? I saw you chatting with one of those. Oh. I don't know actually who are there. They they know oh, me, they but oh, okay. I don't know. They, them. they just said hi, did <laughs> I'm they? So okay. Sorry. I thought you knew them. No, I'm so sorry. I didn't know them. Okay, okay. They, but they're know. probably Malaysian, right? Because since you talked to them. Yeah, Malaysian. definitely they are Malaysian. Okay. So still waiting. They just open slot for another mid laner. Of course, they already banned. Oh, they didn't ban any mid laner from your ex, but um. You know, playing Life Stealer on the map could be. I don't. They can handle Life Stealer, I guess. But seeing Life Stealer on the map could make the the play really hard because it is not just they can handle it, but give with some good items. It's just so good and give you so much advantage in this game. So Life Stealer, one of the favorite hard carry. Uh, very for invasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah but obviously you by loving that life here, they're gonna take good care of him here. Don't know what's taking them so long with this choice. Um, yeah, the, the, the sorry, confu they're, they're confused between Lena and a mid laner. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what they're gonna pick here in the third. Since it's taking them so long to get that Lena out. Um, they must they must be thinking you something. Give me. <laughs> yeah, they, they must be thinking of something seconds, very very interesting. It comes out, and yeah, we Templar will see their mid laner. They did they did decide to go for a mid laner instead. Templar assassin. Yeah, um, sexy. Gonna be the pick here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good to see her here. Um, <laughs> uh, but um, I think that would be good. Templar assassin can t Templar assassin can take up a lot of abuse from the Nyx assassins. Uh, from, from Nyx assassin, just because of that refract, he can catch in a whole combo. So Templar assassin is more or less immune to Nyx assassins' uh, single ganks. Nyx assassin will have to bring another hero into the act if they want to gank this Templar assassin down in the middle. So I do quite like this choice. A very durable one. Uh, Leshrac will be taken out here. Don't know why they're banning the Leshrac. I think they'd much rather want to go for the Lina though. 
I was hoping they banned Alina first though, I think that will be our fifth ban from Ultra Remix though, unless they want to take out. Because they have nothing else to take out here except offlaners and supports. Yep, they're banning their own support. Weaver gonna be taken out, you're gonna deny that offlane. Um, so... Yeah. But, um, by denying the Weaver, they're now, they're allowing the, they're allowing the Lina to come out here. We are most likely gonna see Lina come out here since this is the last ban. I just kinda imagine Gigabyte wanting to ban that Lina. I'm probably gonna take out a support here from Ultra Remix. Uh, you, you can... Be, oh, Drow being taken out though. Afraid of that silence and afraid of the yeah, damage out. Yeah, they already added Captain Smith like two days ago. Yeah, yeah, they did, they did. Um, so yeah, finally taking that Drow out. Um, and maybe you want to keep an eye for maybe URS want to keep an eye for PL. It is a good another good carry. PL is around, so Van is around. So if they let PL survive, so I, I guess they will pick it as the carry for URX. Oh yeah, Nyx Assassin could babysit pretty well here if you play. Yeah, Nyx. definitely. Yeah, yeah, we could see. Um, I mean, Phantom Lancer is one of the viable choices to go for, but you still got heroes like Juggernaut in your tri lane. You got well, there's a lot of heroes you can go for um, at the moment here. Um, <laughs> um, that's a Another yeah, sport. We're, yeah, we're finally gonna see Venomancer out here. Uh, if yeah, you know, finally. I didn't see it for a while because Venomancer, even in TI2 last year, you, you do you realize which, wherever team who picked Venomancer, they lost the match. <laughs> do you realize Ven that? Yeah, Venomancer is a bit of a cursed hero here, so yeah, because very brave choice it is. For them. Yeah, tricky hero. You need to use it wisely as a support. Ten seconds remaining. And there's an, another room for support for invasion. Yep. Oh god. Oh, the gyrocopter out here. So nice clash is going down here. This tri lane hasn't been completed yet. Yeah. Though. Um, but I yeah, think I, I think, they, they think they just want to go straight for it because that fifth pick could be the support for the tri lane anyway. Um. Uh, we can actually see driver cops are off laning here, or are these three gonna form the tri lane? I'm, I just don't see the hey, three of these. Quite here. flexibility. It's quite flexible. It could be off lane also. Because mm. it's a range hero, so there is no doubt he could be any of the lane. Yeah, yeah she could, that, that would be a nice. Five it would be nice to have driver copter in here. If you play the more supporting role, you can forego getting that flak trap. As those flak cannons go straight for the homing missiles instead of the stun. Um, a lot of things you could, um, and it would pair up against Rubik fairly well. Not as well as a nice little combo of, a, you know, the classic combo of Lina, but since we're not seeing that, not sure what they're going for. We're moving into reserve time here for Ultra Remix. Don't know what their choice is going to be yet. Definitely a carry, I guess, or another semi, because you can see Invasion Gigabyte, they already have cooldown, Templar Assassin, Rubik, so they might going to be to pick up a hero oh dragonite dragonite the sign a, a, a quite tanky hero to be used yeah dragonite getting caught out here could be deadly in the pusher you can put dragonite in the middle as well and very very confidently um dragonite just so survivable down that middle if you get it even, even just one level of that dragon blood is enough to keep it that late for a long long time so I like this, Dragonite, a very survivable hero, um, can square up against that Templar Assassin pretty easily. Ten seconds remaining. Dragonite can soak up a lot of damage against that Templar Assassin, but um, if they were to square remaining. off against the middle, I don't think Dragonite could kill, te could kill Templar Assassin unless she makes a mistake or he brings another hero in here. We're not even going to see Lina in this game, we're just going to see Outworld Devourer right off the bat. <laughs> Wait, you should Lina? You waited for Lina? I was, I really want to see Lina here. But I can see the consumption. Oh. Yeah, um, I, I do like this, not, <laughs> if we were to notice, aside from the Dark Seer, not a single intelligence hero over here from, um, URX side, so Devourer's SS will do wonders in a clash. I'm just going to do exactly what they need to do, so, game right off the bat, why don't you introduce Gigabyte for us on the Dire side? Um, the lineup. Okay, Invasion, um... So, um, God, where is it? Okay, I am Invasion Gigabyte. What about they run? It was Snowy will farming up as a knight. Um, he will be babysit by Shang. We play as Rubik. A uh, great at the bottom will be playing as uh, a by by. And at the middle lane, there is Temple as a scene. We play by Dan. Last but not least, it's Jessica. We play out World Revolver at the top. 
And um, over here, the, yeah, over here, the radiant side. Um, for URX, we have bada bada daduka on our <laughs> beast master. Yes, yes, I did pronounce that. We have, we have Missy on our venomancer over here. We've got flying. What is this guy? Flying Kurita on our. Nix assassin. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, it's like it's flying squid, I think. Okay, Termendes on a. Oh my God, Termendes just get, getting caught in a crash right off the bat. And then we have at the bottom. And yeah, no, no, they, they, they're gonna do this. They're, they're gonna battle out here. Um, they have no trouble to pull back here though. The dark seer being forced I to use that south. Dark have a bad luck here. Oh yeah, but the gyrocopter just got caught in a really bad spot and here, and the first blood. <laughs> yeah, the first blood will go to URX here. Very, very good job there by URX picking up, a, uh, picking it up. I mean, they they lost a salve here for the dark seer, losing just a bit of gold, but right off the bat, gyrocopter losing his life there. Uh, who did get the last hit over there? I'm sure it was Venomancer. Yeah, it is him. So Venomancer yeah. getting a really good start to his. Um, well, he's, yeah, he's, he's got 200 gold, 150 gold in his pockets, not bad. Plus the assists everyone else gets. Uh, I quite like it. Um, <laughs> we, yeah, yeah. Uh, very nice start there, very action packed start. Starting this game off in a high note, I quite like it. So we are off, guys. Beastmaster will be taking this mid against Templar Assassin after all. Uh, Dark Seer gonna square up against our Atwell Devourer up here at the top. Down at the bottom, we will see a tri lane indeed out of Gyrocopter, Lifestealer, and Rubik here. Uh, Nyx Assassin and Nyx Assassin and Venomancer will be squaring against them. What? I'm kind of interesting to get the, the flag uh, by URX. Keep calm and stay in your lane. <laughs> Keep calm and stay in your lane. <laughs> and another clash at the bottom and again. Yeah, indeed. Rubik. No. Oh, finally, Gigabyte actually okay. getting a kill off of you. Fish. Yeah, taking out that Nyx Assassin straight away. You do not want that Nyx Assassin to get to level 6. Uh, anytime you can kill him is a good thing. Uh, quite honestly here. So very good job there from them. Gaining, getting a good kill out um, on that Nyx. So URX actually bringing the action here, but um, so far, uh, so far, Gigabyte evening up the score there with a good hit on the Nyx Assassin. So the tri lane once again working out for Gigabyte. They are really, really effective down there in that tri lane. They just do such a good job of maintaining control there. Um, Our World Devourer will actually have. He will actually have the advantage over Darkseer because he can just spam the Astral Imprisonment when he gets higher um, and keep Darkseer's mana pool low. And if that mana pool gets low, you cannot spam that Iron Shell as much. So I think Admiral Devourer has Darkseer in a much of a checkmate in this lane. He will not do too well out here. Templar Assassin is dealing some crazy damage against that Beastmaster. Yeah, in the, I'm looking at her right now yeah, with exactly. the bottom already. Yes, and massive damage. Yeah, indeed. She'll, she will do a very, very decent job there. Um, that is definitely for sure. I'm really, it's really nice to finally see this Venomancer here again, though. I mean, this guy can nuke like crazy, and just like that, they're gonna smoke right up. I yeah, I already that. activated smoke at the bottom and bottle invisibility already. Uh, by Templar Assassin. Yeah, Templar Assassin's activating that. They're oh, they're, go they're going straight for this. Oh, this is weird because the Templar Assassin is expecting to gank down this Beastmaster, but the two heroes have smoked up here and are pretty ready. Oh, they see the Mel go down. They're gonna go straight uh, for I think it. He's going, going to die. Yeah. And I think there is a bad luck for him. Yeah, that Templar Assassin will not enjoy his day what a right gang, now. But being gank. The refraction has been broken though, but we're still four seconds away from the stun. Will you make it in time? No, he has to oh, pull back here. They cannot yeah. commit to that. There is a melt from the Templar Assassin. And that could take out oh, the Beastmaster. Oh, Imagine to take him out there. <laughs> that was really good. Ooh. So Templar Assassin actually coming out on top there. Uh, I do like the use of um, Venomous Gale against the Templar Assassin though. That DPS will burn down the refraction charges Yeah. Um, pretty easily. Yeah. Definitely. Same thing with uh, Poison Nova too. So. Venomancer actually taking out the Templar Assassin pretty decently here. Um, that Nyx Assassin too, gonna be pretty useful from the URX side. Um, I don't know, down here, this tri lane is still pretty pretty solid. I actually like the choice of um, not putting Dragonite in the mid and keep him here in the tri lane because he's actually pretty survivable and he's one of the few heroes who can actually stand up to that life stealer without, you know, surely dying straight away um, to his damage because Dragonite is tanky as hell. Um, but the gyrocopter here doing such a good job of keeping that Dragonite back, so forcing him to that. hug. Yeah, yeah, Dragonite's not gonna get any farm from that, just gonna get that XP out of there. He's just being forced to pull back because of that tri lane. Uh, yeah. yeah, Venomancer needs to go back to his little friend now. But we see Nyx Assassin just waiting for that bottle. I'm waiting for that rune, sorry, it's five seconds away. And it will come out at the top here, so... And oh, Nix Assassin does get the haste rune. Gonna go straight for the Outworld Devourer then. Does he have mana for that stun? Yes, he does. Oh, it is coming now. There is no. Oh, might be able to burst. 
Darkseer should be ready to burst soon. He's going to go through the opposite direction here. And might be able to catch out. will devour. They're just waiting for it. Waiting for it. And the actual Prism just gets... <laughs> yeah, he gets cast though. The stun will go down. Alright, I will devour just a few hits down. No, the Dix Assassin has to back up. That was kind of wasted there. Would have been better yeah. if the Darkseer had um, Iron Shell, but the Ashram Imprisonment Light just... Yeah. yeah. The uh, Ashram Imprisonment just decreased the mana away from the Darkseer. The Darkseer is having a hard time here. He needs that Soul Ring out pretty soon. Yeah, the Soul Ring will come out, and I'll be okay for him. Once that Soul Ring comes out, you can more or less spam that uh, Iron Shell with minimal risk, but still. So far, uh, if we were to take a look over here at our net worth, yeah, Gigabyte still on top here at the farm. Um, just like just a just a 1k gold lead overall. The team is like a 2,000 gold lead. That's not that's very inconsequential in the first game. Uh, well, in the early game, that's not much. So, but still, Gigabyte quite ahead. Man, I'm sick again. <laughs> this rain is bad for me. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, 2-1 the current score here, and. Well, Gigabyte's doing well. Gigabyte's doing everything okay so far. Um, they can, I mean, they can afford to not really gank here. They can just play a little passive, just try to get their farms out. Um, they can play opportunistic here because a Templar Assassin, Templar Assassin's fine in the mid lane. There's no no need to truly gank out these heroes just yet. Yeah, um, it's already you know being conquered by enemy though. Yeah. The, I think he gets some dagger. I think he he could gank. Yeah, he's gonna go straight for oop, and Impel does go down here. And he's playing smart in water. Yeah, but look at this, the Nyx is in trouble over here. The Rocky Barrage will take out that Nyx Assassin that Invasion Gigabyte on top here in the tri lane. Just being, well, the tri lane has done nothing but work beautifully for them so far. And yeah, yeah it just giving them some breathing time out of here. That should wake up Nyx Assassin and the rest of the tri lane. Yeah, Dragonite needs to get back there immediately with the Nyx Assassin to try to stop um, like his roll down there. A Templar Assassin, yep, finally getting her traps out. She's at level seven. This is when she gets, yeah, this is when she gets really, yeah, this is when she gets really annoying because she, she dictates map control just by using those wards there. Um, the Beastmaster is not in a position, to try, yeah, definitely not in a position to try and uh, tank down this Templar Assassin. There's nothing you can do here without the help of another hero. That he needs to get out of there. That Beastmaster needs to get out of there. Look at that damage. It's too much. The trap goes oh, down. Oh, she really. Yeah, he, Diamond is how I'm chasing. And he's got the, yeah, exactly. He's got the face boots out as well. We could see refracting cast of the tower. The plus damage will be too much. Could he can make it? Could he make it? No, he's not gonna make it, man. He's out. No. Uh, Temple assassin is gone. And I, I mean, how hard he yeah, yeah. dodged it. The beastmaster won't survive in that lane anymore. With the psionic traps out, just gonna be too easy to bully out that beastmaster. The refract working so well. Yeah, the Templar assassin. Oh, that's me word. <laughs> Yeah, he, he's just gonna get raped down in that um, lane over here. Got raped. Come on. Yeah, he's. That, that, that is the only word I can find that is appropriate. For <laughs> he's, he's gonna get raped. Seriously, um, this Templar assassin will own him in that lane. It's and like I think, it's raped. Yeah, and, and I think URX realizes this because the supports have come down into the middle. See what they can do about this very, very annoying Templar assassin in the middle. The Beastmaster will join them soon enough. He's just one last hit away from that level six. If they can get that level six down and stun him, that would be actually pretty good for. Yeah, that'll be good for him. Finally gonna get that primal war out. We'll be able to keep that Templar Assassin in place. It's a good way to initiate a clash as well. But we have our Dragon Knight in trouble here for the Lifesteal and the Gyrocopter. Nice choice for the Gyrocopter actually joining the trial and getting that homing missile. It just does such a good job of keeping um, that Dragon Knight in place. And Lifestealer's DPS is more or less enough. And the open wood is pretty Radiant's useful as well. So Nyx and Venomancer come too late. They must regret coming there, but the Beastmaster is here now. Are we gonna see the roar get cast down? Yes, indeed, the roar does go down. That will be enough to take out the gyrocopter there. And the Nyx has to back up. There's not much he can do. Uh, level 5 against those three heroes. Yep, wisely decided to back up over here. But Rubik and Outworld Devourer at the same time getting a really good push down here at the top. Got some damage out on that tower. And so far, and well, so far over here, this Outworld Devourer has been getting a very, very free farm. I mean, already almost at that. Let's check it out. Yeah, he's more or less, he's pretty, pretty close to getting that um, mechanism out. Just like 600, 700 gold left. Before he gets that mechan, so very good job there by the Arrow Devourer getting the farm up, and that'll be very very yeah, useful later on. Time it's off. Yeah, and ooh, Templar Assassin taking out Dragonite again. This Templar Assassin is on fire, man. He's being left alone. He was yeah, he, he's <laughs> on the, he, fire. Yeah, he's on fire, man. That girl is on fire. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, he, he's just being left alone in this lane uh, to kill, basically without getting killed back. So. 
um, getting us getting a very very decent gold yeah. lead, uh, gold lead up. And there is the no escape for Darts here, even though he has the his aim locked down. Yeah, indeed. Uh, out here at the top, well, that oh, SS he was missed dumb. the ultimate. Yeah, that, 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 that was not a good oh, right there. Missing him totally there, but uh, still. Still, the arcane orb and the astral plus the damage out from Rubik was enough to take out. Yeah, um, yeah, he was enough to take him out. So invasion leading once again here, 10-3. Again. Uh, you, yeah, URX not being able to do much. I told more. you they really play aggressive. Invasion. Yeah, invasion. No, invasion can now play aggressive, man. The time is up because they've already reached their, their critical levels. They've gone to level six. They've got their essential farms. They can get. They can get aggressive now. Back in the early game was URX's they, chance because yeah, they, they have the Nyx assassin. The next assassin can get very aggressive back in that early game, and that's what he needs to do to get to that level six ASAP. Just get all that, just get that XP lead straight up to the level six. But the next assassin getting full lead early game over in the trial lane just means that, well, he's not going to be able to do much damage uh, until he hits that vendetta point. But uh, so far, we've got three heroes up here. They really want to kill that outworld devourer. They are not happy at him. And Veno and Tell me, get caught. There is no well, escape. Yeah, Even though he team B and killing space be ended yeah, by this. Finally, Panther. finally, the Templar assassin getting taken down there. Um, it's rich should be stop. Yep. This is, yeah, this is what URX needs to do to get right back into this. Uh, they need to take. And bottom lane, they having a very good time with Rubik, Lancer, and also Gyro. Gyro plays a support, but even though they just need a few levels, but he's. Alti cooldown really do a very massive damage, and I, I didn't think they care who, who's coming. They're just going to break them. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the, this Carlin isn't afraid of tower. anything, especially since the Nyx Assassin can initiate without that um, vendetta. It's just too difficult for them right now. The cooldown and does get cast. And the cooldown activated, and like, this is the last right behind him. I think he's going to break him. Yeah, Rubik managing to steal that uh, impale as well. Managed to get, take him out, and the next assassin will go down to that tri lane. Dragonite, uh, Dragonite forced to use that form. Uh. Yep, the dragon form will go down for him. And Venomance is here along with the Beastmaster. That Primal Roar is still on cooldown there. So, yeah, they have to stand by because that's more or less all they can do to initiate here. Venomance just making sure that Templar assassin and just trying to keep to keep tabs on that Templar and assassin, and make sure he doesn't go out. So. Yeah, but that tier one tower is going to go down um, to the Templar assassin. That is no doubt about that. And he will move down here. Ooh, missing that Venomancer just by inches here. And, and grinding. Yep, and the ward here in a very nicely placed. Gonna spot that Templar Assassin, wanna go down to the bottom. That just means that URX don't wanna commit here. But Templar Assassin just gonna stay this farm. You do not wanna go there, Venomancer. Oh, the veil does get cast. Yeah. Yeah, he, you can't Templar Assassin her. is running. He thinks there's a follow up here. Just fire. Um, <laughs> he, is, yeah, he is on fire there. Uh, the Templar Assassin had to back out, he was afraid of a gank there, wouldn't be able to kill the Venomancer quick enough. Um, Templar Assassin wisely returning to her old lane here. And I think that's the cue for Gigabyte to back off over here. They will be able, they, will they be able to take the tier 2? No, they back up just in time. Yeah, they back up, but they definitely go for second tier tower. And most of, not most of the from URX is bottom. They keep, you know, doubts here. You, you have to play smart, even though you're doubts here. But you can't just farm out your team. Maybe we rely on you. Yeah, I think yeah, he should move to he bottom. He's initiate pretty quick. I load the smoke. The smoke does go down here. Probably gonna go for that beast master. The Templar assassin's on his way. Uh, one trap, and this could go very, very badly. Death he does have the double damage gang. room. Oh no! But the Templar assassin seems to want to go straight for that dark seer over there. Not be able to trap him, but no, we're gonna go straight for it. That burst will not be enough. Yep, the Iron Shell getting cast down. The Venomancer will join him here. Oh, he doesn't make it. Yep, and down here at the bottom, the Beastmaster does get taken down by the Life Stealer over here. Uh, the Templar Assassin managed to take out the Venomancer at the top and as well. Going the end for Dark Gear. <laughs> Definitely. And again, invasion. Beautiful war from invasion. Yeah, um, so still not good at all here. For her, um, well, Invasion's still doing a very good job, the Templar Assassin. Also, uh, Templar Assassin finally getting um, quite a decent lead over here, wait. And I think they, I don't think what the strategy from URX, but Invasion is conquering the game like a boss. Yeah, 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 Invasion, invasion pretty <laughs> much on top here so far. Um, URX getting some choice ganks out, but the Nyx Assassin wasn't able to, you know, use its full potential just yet. The Dragonite hasn't farmed up properly. And I don't know, Gigabyte. Gigabyte's still more or less on top of the score is 450. They are pretty solidly ahead here. So, so far a one-sided game here um, coming out from Gigabyte. If you were to check the gold lead, 
<coughs> Ow. It's like an eight thousand oh. yeah, it's like an eight thousand or seven thousand gold lead for in the favor of invasion here, so they got a pretty good farm out plus the life seed with the armlet out. Yeah, they think it's really um, Yeah, the, the, they, the, they farmed art the, they farmed up extremely well here. And Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, in, and they managed to get down most of the tier twos here. Only the tier two down here, the mid is missing. And Ruby bought the gem. Definitely they will gain the map control and will deny each single Ward from your egg, it will give them extra mind control. Yeah, Ruby and also they will do they want to gain Ning, definitely. So but gonna Ning, straight, yeah, they're gonna go straight after the Roshan here. Uh, don't know if they want. I think they want yeah, to go to the Life Stealer here. They will take Roshan, and I, I think they realize it, but they can't do anything about that. Oh, in instant. Oh, the Templar will take it. Though. Okay. Templar will take it. And the Scout Hawk does see it at last, and he gets taken out in one hit. Poor little Hawk. <laughs> Um, they, they, they don't do anything. Yeah, th uh, it makes me sad when the hawk goes down. Um, um, <laughs> uh, but the Beastmaster, I mean, the Beastmaster being able to spot that but not being able to do anything, and they no do not feel confident right now because now, Knight, uh, with the mm -hmm. Templar Assassin on that Aegis, they can storm straight down. They can and also, regeneration. Down. Yeah, I think they did, they did the best. Time to. It is about timing, so I think it's the best yeah, time see, for them. Yeah, he's not scared at all. He's just gonna go straight power. out for it. And, and yeah, I cannot mention. I didn't even mention it. Sorry, die. Yeah, he, he does take him out pretty quick. The meld going down. Gonna take out the Beastmaster too. Four seventeen. Everything is just going yeah, so smoothly here for Templar Assassin. Yeah, the it's a good thing to give him ages because he's doing a very good gankable. Um, yeah, she, she's gonna do a good job of just diving in there, getting yeah. this thing down. Well, Templar Sassy, which is a, such a good choice in this game. On top of the Outworld Devourer, oh, it's not showing his true colors just yet, but if we were to see a major class with a lot and of heroes I go down... Who managed to disable him out here, and I think it's gonna be... Oh, are we gonna see something good out here? There's three heroes here, and enough for the SS. The SS should get caught out here from Outworld Devourer, and look at that damage straight out. It is just really good. And the Templar Assassin will be able to catch up Going there. Going to dive in, definitely would dive when he's super tank of hell. Yeah, so that's like, uh, that's 490 now, Templar Assassin, still with the Aegis, they can go straight for this tier 3, the Dagon, I mean the Dragonite is not there for the next 20 seconds, they can go super damage on this, the Vacuum does go down, lots of damage will be taken down with Templar Assassin, oh the Mechan's being used though, Templar Assassin stayed alive yeah, for a long time. Yeah, but uh, can't do anything about that, he has like a mana and invasion really just stick up with them, each other, they can't gank. Interesting of it, but means he's looking for a chance. Yeah, uh, there's no chance to come out here. The next assassin without any mana gonna oh, get taken out yeah. straight away. I will devour the astral imprisonment is just really, really good. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just denies. Oh, look at that! But the Templar assassin does go down. They've used up the ages now. But the Templar assassin is back, and I think she's angry now. Back at full life. <laughs> angry. Yeah, she, yeah, well, she does have money for buyback here, so they can get pretty aggressive here. I think they just want to stick to this, try to get the tier three down. All the while, they're just buying time for the life stealer here, who's already got Desolator out, and he will yeah. be storming. The, he'll be storming down at tier three because so far, um, these four heroes in the middle, they got this. This is easy. De they'll be able to take this lane without too much of a difficulty, which means life stealer is free to just perform a split push up here at the top. They're so far ahead, they can afford to do that. So now they're gonna have to be divided. Uh, Dark Seer is gonna have. He's gonna have to try and find a way to clear up all these. Yeah, they're gonna have to clear up all these uh, creep waves to stop that split push. And yeah, uh, everyone's spreading out a bit. Our devourer, we're gonna get that Mystic Staff Templar Assassin moving all the way back. Just gonna farm up just a little bit. I mean, well, as long as they're ahead, they might as well just continue farming. I mean, that's one way to go. If you're ahead, just get even more ahead. I mean, no problem there, really. And I'm just really, really scared for both the Templar Assassin and the Dick and the Dykes because. They've got such a good farm out. What's the net worth looking like again, Myra? Oh, the net worth definitely we go to Life Stealer and Outward Devolver. Templar is the oh, and then with number three. Even uh, even Rubik and support stay at the fourth place, and they really doing a, a remarkable job from Invasion once again. Mm, I, I agree, man. Um, but. Well, it, it's not so much as URX making any mistakes here, because they, they have more or less done more or less. They know what they're doing. The problem here is in Gigabyte's just doing doing it better, really. Um, Gigabyte's playing a much much yeah. better game here, and it's just not working out for URX. Just trying their best here, but it may turn out to be not enough. 
I look at this um, Rubik getting down the plague ward. Um, he might abuse this. Yeah, he, he could go out and just spam these plague wards. Oh, using using the plague wards there as actual wards. So okay, yeah, you could do that. Um, so they're gonna they're gonna try and storm down this tier three tower here. Uh, I think this is do or die here. Since where's the Templar assassin? Less than twenty minutes, they already lost all the second tier tower and going for the tier two tower. Even though they're at high ground, but they they can't do anything. Bother. Yeah, I agree here, and I don't know. What uh, I think he should. The best down. way. Yeah, he doesn't oh, have. Oh, look at this! The clash has gone down. Nick's assassin is out. Arrow devour. Manage, manage just cast that SS. I'm and he is right Ooh. behind me. Taking out the dragon knight. Down light. three down. Yeah, three heroes three down yet. Right. Um, the the dark seer still rushing it's out here. It's a disaster. Yeah, not good for you, RX. Um, the Darkseer can't do much about this. Just a random vacuum here and there. Oh, but we do have the Vendetta out from Ruby, though. Match just sealed out that Vendetta. Nope. He wasted on that Hawk. Um, nothing much he can do there with a the vision. Lifestealer... Well, Lifestealer can just charge straight ahead here. I mean, he's got an amazing farm out. They're gonna take down the barracks here and the... Yeah, oh, they're gonna go straight out for it. Nice timing on the rage there. Becoming... One hit. Three hit. Yep, better man turn out. he <laughs> went abroad and save his allies. Yeah, if this isn't GG, I don't know what is. Uh, I think this is the game going out now. GG, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, as, as, as they lose the bottom lane here, they can go straight up to the middle, break those as well. And the Templar Assassin is breaking the tower up here as well on the top. We'll be able to get the lane over here, gonna break down the melee and range barracks on her own here. And then they can go get Mega at the middle, and that'll be GG for them. So Gigabyte doing very, very well here. Um, just a very solid lineup, very solid play. And... And it will be enough to give them the game here, so... Good job to Gigabyte. Um, we will see. I'm pretty sure we're gonna see the GG get called out soon. Not much we can do about this. Ooh, call down does get cast. Ooh, will down. hit the Nyx Assassin. The second one will hit the Nyx Assassin again. Oh, wow. Life Stealer will go straight and out. Nyx Assassin is dead. Yeah, this is just too far gone here. Oop, Rubik needs. Yeah, they need to come. They need to commit to this spike carapace with the Rubik. Yeah, the oh, the Nyx do get the Rubik out. The Life Stealer is still here, and he is still one crazy threat. The Dark Seer is gonna go down. Yeah, no, this is just uh, it's not working out for them. Um, Templar Assassin finally gonna get that top up here. Oops, Gyrocopter. Oh, Beastmaster is chasing the Gyrocopter here. Need to plant the trap, the plant the trap, the trap. Oh no. Uh, the Templar Assassin could have detonated that trap. Oh, yeah, it two hit and get, got like um, upward revolver. I already have Shiva and Mechanism and both stuff, man. It's, it's really on fire. <laughs> like a bow. Yeah, really, and the Beastmaster going down here for overextension down in the middle here. Owl Devourer going to try and take down this tier 3 over here. Templar Assassin. And I the think side. they tried to gank TA, but otherwise, she yeah, killed. Yeah, you, you, you don't gank TA, not now. I mean, oh, wow! Ow. Actually, you do gank TA, because TA just went down, but TA's got the Daedalus out. And she was been activated and just one hit. God, you really have just crazy dangerous. magic damage. Yeah, this outworld actually doing surprisingly well. Just got some crazy ass money out, and once that end gets pumped up like crazy, yep, the GG. Yeah, GG. Nothing. In they could have done about minutes. That. So very fast well, games we're seeing here. Yeah, very very yeah. fast games we're seeing. Last time it's 13. This time it's 22. Yeah, hopefully we will wow. actually see a game that goes past 30 minutes this time. Um, <laughs> they actually have, you know, some fight, some clash. But this is too easy. Oh god. <laughs> oh yeah, still going for the final few clashes. Our baby invasion is too good. Yeah, Invasion just played this really well. URX played uh, as well as they could, but unfortunately Gigabyte was just better. They're gonna get the Mega here. Gonna break down the Ancient, and that'll be all she wrote. This will be the end of the story here. So, uh, guys, we have one last match for you guys um, from Rampage here, so stay tuned for that. We will get to you as soon as that game starts. And that'll be a wrap for tonight. So, with the Ancient going down, <laughs> this is more or less... Yeah, game over out here. Just trying to luck at a few more clashes, and I'm sure it won't be. Uh, it just won't be enough here. And again, this boy is amazing. Thirty-nine against eight. Yeah, she's finishing it at forty here, and that's a game over. We're gonna forty already. Oh, well done.